Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormy, and today we are back with another review, this time of a Devious Dungeon. So Devious Dungeon is a little uh, hack and slash dungeon crawl platform type game. Um, it's fairly difficult from what I've seen very early on, or perhaps I'm just not that good. So it's a keyboard type game. Start off a new game. I've had a little bit of a play. But not much. And I can't remember anything. So, basically, Dark Times Upon Hilltop Castle. An ancient evil has awakened in the catacombs underneath the castle. The king sends all of his men to destroy the evil lurking below. But the dungeon is deadly and is constantly shifting. Only a true champion will be able to save the day. Is that you? So, basically, we operate on a few buttons here. So space and S, I believe, are both um, jump. We've got left and right for your directions, and then B and A are both that. So I think this this seems very much like a console port. It does feel like a console port. Um, but yeah, so I guess we can talk to him and purchase some stuff. So you can see there's a bunch of different stuff there. Nothing really we can do. But then we can go into the portal. As you can see, there's a bunch of different ways of going through things. So we got level 1, level 4, level 7, level 10, and the boss. Then we got 14, 17, 20, 23, and another boss, and so on so forth until you get to the fifth boss there um so that would be what level 65 i believe maybe so just going up by three and then up a level for the next stage i don't know but yeah it's past level 62 so we're gonna enter in the level one portal and take a little look around so this is the tutorial and I'm really terrible at this. So it says that to jump. And then you can actually jump higher. Then we've got a portion. And then... It says keep an eye out for hidden areas. Like. And that's kind of what it means. So. Nothing challenging right now, right? Let me look at here and you can see, can't see the portal, but we can see we've come from that top left, we've worked our way down. This is a very old school platform dungeon. So you need to find the key before you can get out. There's the key. 
There you go. So that right there is the tutorial area. No. Something up here is making an almighty mess. As you can see, it's that guy there. So I think this is generated differently most of the time so let's go and see what we've got in store so you can see there that big enemy with the sword it's a little fiddly at times to go where i want to go because i'm not used to the full controls yet. So this looks to be the portal. This is my way out. Let's just be more guys up. a bit too close in there but that's okay looks like there's a way up there or maybe down there we level up so can I get extra crit from dexterity hit points from stamina or damage from strength and you know what right now i'm feeling that strength bonus boys i think that'll be decent yeah, so that's the way back down there don't think there's any ways around here I say controls are a little fiddly especially for me not used to this kind of stuff at times That's decent there. Got another one of these hard swinging enemies. So let's go in there. Getting a bit close to them, but that's fine. So that's the key. So now where do we need to go again? So we need to work our way up, I'd say, over this side. And try and get back up to where the portal was. 
Okay. So when I get used to the controls, I figure we'll be a lot quicker to get stuff. Oh my god, we just got a knowledge book. Didn't even know that was an area. Uh, again, I'm thinking here, I stick with strength, extra damage. And let's really get sort of clicking on that. And bam, just like that. I'm not sure where those quests come from exactly. Shouldn't have picked that up. Yeah, as long as you pick up enough health portions, you should be pretty good. I think to pretty much complete at least the early levels. Jumped a bit too quickly in that. Okay. That's fine. So we're picking up a lot of cash as well. We might be able to get some interesting gear. Okay, okay. So now we want a portion because now I misjumped a couple of times there. So, of course, now we want a portion. We don't get a portion. Two one hit points. <laughs> can we hit him without us being hit? Yes, we can. We are just that good. And then as I say that, that's where we die. That's where we die. Okay, so 29 enemies slain, three levels cleared, six missions completed, $148 cash bonus. Look, look we had four, uh, 584 there in total. So now we've basically entered the portal. We got to level three. If we get to level four, that's our checkpoint. So that's what these levels mean and where we go. Um, but now we've gone and got some money. Now you can see we've got the rusty sword. We can get the wooden club. This looks a bit slower, but more damage. Armor, combat armor, harness, a little bit more stamina. Let's see what else is there first. So an extra portion there. Again, that could be an option. The amulets, amulet of stamina. But that's just the same as the portion, surely, and the copper ring. So it's all about hit points, I guess. Here. So let's go for the 
big one to begin with. And that will unlock this one. And there we go. So we got our leather arm up. And then when we get more money, we can get the chain mail. Really start to uh, snowball that. But yeah, weapons would be nice as well. But now you can see we look a bit different. And we might be able to do something a little bit better. But again, we're back into level one because that's all we could be. But now we should take a little less damage, I believe. Although saying that, this is a, a jumping puzzle that I'm really not that confident on. So next time he does that, That was a pretty terrible jumper again. Controls for me. Little fiddly. But overall, the more I play this game, the more I feel I can do. The more risks I'm willing to take and I guess we've already done this level we've almost done level three so we already have the key so we don't need to go looking for the key so we can just jump down level after level look at that okay um so we can get let me see, our health has gone way up because our stamina has gone way up. So when we've leveled up, or if we were to heal, we would have get that. Extra crit is nice, but again, I think we're rolling a little bit more damage. Oh, I couldn't jump out the way of that one. Go, we can go down. Oh no, wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. And again. We can just try and get as much of this done as possible. Oh, it didn't jump. Gumbag. Okay, that's fine. When he shoots, we will pick up what we can and then we need to go find the key for this level. Go and see if we can do that. Oops. There we go. Found it. So we killed a bunch of those. Now we get to enter this portal, level three, as you can see, there's now what seems to be new force. A 
and we don't like that at all. So yeah. Okay, so where's this portal then? Hopefully it's this side. Or maybe it's right down in the middle. Hopefully we don't get attacked down here, but that's not the way this works, is it? Okay. Time to get out of here. And then Olaf's caravan. So, healing for 50. Or we can look at the shop. We don't have enough that for a new sword. Off of that. Off for anything really fun. I guess we can buy that for now. And then Get our healing. And that means we can't really do much else. But we head into dungeon level 4. And now if we die, we can go back and come right back into this point. Okay, I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, you can see me. Okay. But as you can see, your skill level will go up over time lovely get rid of him take some damage doing so but that's well worth it in my opinion right now Boom! More strength, more damage. Already got the key. Level 4. So you can back out of their range. You can just jump up on him. Get that full heal. And then we can just come up this side. Doesn't look to be anything there. Let's work our way back up and over. We missed that jump. OK. 
Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where I'm going. At this stage. Is it perhaps up here? This is where we came in. And the key was down the other way. So it had to be right next to the one place I hadn't looked. So there we go. That right there. You can see the quests and what you need to get for each thing. You can check your stats and see what you're doing there. So 5% critical, 19 damage, 42 hit points right there see all your bits and pieces of course in the options you can do what you want to do there so we save now we can quit back out to the main menu as I say this is a fun game a slightly challenging game uh, it took me a while to get a control, sort of grip of the controls. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the keyboard only controls, and I'm really not a fan of not being able to rebind keyboard controls. There doesn't seem to be a lot of options in terms of like screen resolutions and all that kind of stuff. There's basic volume sliders. It's a very simple game. It's not taxing visually. It's you know the sounds are pretty good. The gameplay itself is decent. Being able to level up and do bits, I think, is really nice. I kind of struggled on the first one. I died in Dungeon 1 twice and kind of quit out. Um, but that was my quick little look at the game before writing uh, down a few things that I liked and a few things I didn't like and jumping into this to actually let you know about the game itself. But like I say, I think... From what I've seen, I haven't seen a boss yet. That could be something really, really crazy, which changes my opinion one way or the other for the game. But right now, controls, subpar. Not allow me to rebound, subpar. Like the fact that S and space are jump and A and B are both swing, but in a lot of menus where it says press A or S, only S works. Um... You know, that's kind of not great. Quite often when you get an option between two buttons to press for the same thing, only one really works. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But if I were to rebind this, I would love to have maybe my four fingers on my left hand on QWER. So maybe something like, you know, those to be a bunch of different like attack buttons or to pick up something if that comes into the game later on etc i'm not sure i can have my space bar for jump i can keep my left thumb on that and you can also jump with the up arrow and move left and right so my right hand i'm fine those arrow keys for movement are fine but i don't like the way my fingers are spread in a weird pattern to cover A and B or S and space and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure exactly why it's set up that way. And I don't like that we can't change it. Everything else, I'm on board. Everything else with this game, I am on board. Nope. So like I say, it's a fun little game published by grab the games developed by wobblyware and it's a, a dark ages dungeon delving platformer it's got rpg style upgrades it's combat orientated as you've seen um and it, there's quite a few of these type of games out here i think this does it really well I think it captures the spirit of the game, of the genre. Uh, looking at some of the other screenshots, there's quite a lot of different enemies to come. 
Um, I don't think I'm anywhere close. I also like the price point, four ninety nine in terms of dollars, so for less than five dollars, you can get this. Also, right now there's a retro bundle on on Steam. Um, recording this September first, so this should be up on the channel hopefully tomorrow. Um, so hopefully the bundle will still be going, and it's thirty three percent off all the items in the bundle. There's three parts: Devious Dungeon, of course with Siberian, the time traveling warrior and 64.0 i don't know anything about those games they all look fairly sort of uh 8-bit etc style games oh there's the platformer bundle and that is the league of evil which is apparently an action indie platformer with pixel graphics pretty much like devious dungeon and Mecha Bolt, which is action indie casual adventure game. So, or Mecha Bolt, perhaps that is. So, yeah, we've got a rhythm game in 64. We've got the action indie adventure sci fi post apocalyptic Siberian. And then we got this in the retro. That is three games for less than $10. $9.35. The platformer bu bundle is $15.27. So, you save a bit more. On the retro and of course you can always buy both and you know 25 nearly 26 dollars there it's not a bad price point honestly for five games and you have two copies of uh devious dungeon there of course they don't overlap but um yeah overall i'm pretty happy with what i've seen of this game um the first time was really difficult. I think the, the learning curve can be steep in parts. Controls are bad, but sounds, graphics, gameplay are good. Storyline so far, pretty much generic, non-existent. Um, so if you're not looking for that, then great. But this is one that you can really sort of push yourself to better time after time. The fact that when you die, you just go back to the castle. You're able to get your... You know, you keep your money and your equipment. You're able to upgrade, and it's... It's kind of a push your luck, go as hard and as far as you can, and when it all falls apart, you retool, you jump back as far as you can, and you go again. So, Devious Dungeon, as I say on Steam now, four ninety nine in two different bundles. It is from Wobblyware, published by Grab the Games, and yeah, I quite like this, but I would like more options, and I would really like a better control system or remapping the keys myself so i can set that up the way i like to play it but yeah that's the only real criticisms i've got so check it out if you like it go grab it and uh yeah check out the other games in those bundles and who knows you might find something that you like as well so yeah it's very random roguelike kind of game rpg leveling elements not rpg at all but rpg elements to the leveling system and yeah tool up go kill come back retool go kill more so devious dungeon available now thanks very much guys for watching i do appreciate it. leave a comment below whether or not you like this game or not uh, and whether or not you want to go and check it out let me know bit of feedback always always heavily heavily welcome so i've been chris Ormi. another one of these reviews done and dusted i'll see you back here next time for more fun and games till then y'all take care see you soon guys